Hi guys, uh, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar and uh, now we are going to discuss in this video session, okay, the next level of constraints CO. So what is the next level of constraints in your SQL Server database means? Now uh, we have some uh, along with primary key foreign key relations, so that means primary key foreign key constraints, we have uh, some more constraints are there in our uh, what we can say uh, the SQL Server. So what are those we will discuss here. So the constraints, remaining constraints, what it is here, here. So one more constant is there here yeah, that is called a unique constant we called and the second one we called as a not null and the third one is called as what now check. Okay, so these are some more constraints uh, we are going to discuss in our constraint concept. Okay, so now let us see uh, what it is happen here unique not null check how it will be work and uh, uh, what is the nature of these constraints, okay, once I applied this constraint on column, okay, so what kind of nature is going to getting now. So let us see now, the first uh, we will go for the unique constraint we can discuss, okay, the nature of unique constraint is what now, it was going to restrict, it was going to restrict, okay, so restrict duplicate data, duplicate data restrict duplicate data but 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 accepting but accepting nulls into into a column this is what we can say so unique constraint is going to restrict duplicate data but accepting nulls into a column my point understand now yes so now this is what the nature of unique constraint Okay, so this unique constraint, how to apply means we have a small syntax here. The syntax I'm going to telling now. What is my syntax here? I just go for column name. That means on which column do you want to apply your constraint? The column name. And after column name, you must and should be send data type. You must and should be send data type along with the size. Suppose your constraint, your column, is character type then I must and should be given a size. After that, you just apply your unique constraint. This is what the syntax, how to apply unique constraint on your column, okay. So let us see, one example we will discuss now. One example we will discuss. Come to your SQL Server Management Studio. I just closing this window, okay. So to come and open your SQL Server, same to same, I just connected to here to take my query editor as usual and come back here to select first of all I set you first to select your da required database okay otherwise I can go to uh, query through also I can select what is my query user use my class database so because I am going to perform my operations or creating my tables under my class database now I just executed yes I selected my class database from SQL server later on later on now I will go to perform so I just keep it now this one okay yes I'm just going to take example what is my example here create a table test one okay my table name is test one here and I am taking your serial number integer serial number integer and here I'm going to apply what now unique constraint in the same to same okay I'm going to take here for example one more okay so serial number uh, later I want to take for example uh, the student uh, mobile number so I will take some mobile number here okay other than mobile number it will be some confused so that's what I'm taking here location I'm taking now okay so location is what now where care of some size suppose you want to accept unique locations you want to accept unique locations even though you can apply your unique constraint here if you want to apply unique you can apply unique no problem so just a simple example I'm taking now so in this example what is happened unique constraint I applied on serial number as well as location column that means what you understand here these two columns are not accepting these two columns are not accepting duplicate values okay but duplicate values whenever the user is sending to serial number and location column so those duplicates are not accepted but the problem is what now accepting nulls so now you can see executed your query after executed then I just go to testing my operations here I want to test inset I'm taking your test one okay I'm sending some values of okay serial number 101 
location for example hyd i'm sending now hyd okay now this is my first record when i'm sending my first record there's nothing problem the problem will not come here okay but if you want to see if i come to my table test one successfully the record is inserted into my test one table there's nothing problem in this but the problem is what now second time second time whenever i'm going to sending the same year sending one more time suppose i just change my location is up and but i'm sending 101 but with the problem is what now 101 value is already existing in my serial number column so that means this is called a already 101 is there so it means are you sending one more 101 means it is called a duplicate so when i'm sending duplicate to my unique columns what is happening here the duplicate is not accepted and what it was saying here the violation of unique key constraint okay simply cannot insert duplicate key in the object test one duplicate key value is 101 so not accepted in the same pattern suppose if i change here and uh, here if you send hyd okay and go to executed now go to executed now then what has happened here this time also problem is occurred why because hyderabad already existing in my table but again are you try to insert the same data into unique column then again it is not accepted again this time my problem is what now hyd so that means what do you understand here the duplicates are not accepted okay duplicates are not accepted but if i am going to sending this data 102 hyderabad in place of hyderabad i am going to change i given your up when i change this up and to execute it now yes it is accepted why because the both column values are unique data i am sending now okay so it is accepted so duplicates are not accepted the problem is what now here the problem is what now here means the problem is when you send null year when you send null year it is a uh, accepted so nulls are accepted here so this is the problem then you come back and see the null is accepted or not yes so to overcome i don't want to accept null also i don't want to accept null also then what i want to do i want restrict nulls also then we are going to go for the next constraint what is our next constraint here not null so not null nature is what now not null nature is what simple so okay not null nature is what now restrict restrict nulls restrict nulls but accepting but accepting accepting duplicate values accepting duplicate values into into a column okay restrict nulls but accepting duplicate values into a column this is the nature of not null so how to apply not null same syntax we just follow what is my syntax here column name okay same as usual you can send your data type next size after that you just apply but when you apply your not null give a space not space null okay so now i just uh, this is my syntax whatever it was there so now i will take a example come back your example yes one more example i will take now what is my example in this again i am creating table test number two here i will take serial number in teaser and there i am going to apply not null okay so now i will take a name varchar of some size of some size and here also i am taking what now not null so not null constant i applied on two columns in my table and to execute it now again it is also successfully created then now you just go for testing your operations so what i am going to testing now insert test number two and send your values of serial number one name is a then if i executed nothing problem but the same thing what is happen if i'm inserting one more time then accepted if you send one more time even though accepted that means finally you just come back your duplicates are accepted in your table test two now we can see duplicates are accepted but the problem but the advantage this is called a problem actually this is called a problem okay so this is called a problem but the advantage what now advantage what now means i cannot accept 
I cannot accept nulls here. Suppose are you sending null to one column or two columns at a time to execute now and check out not accepted. Okay? So, duplicates are accepted, but nulls are not accepted in my table. This is the nature of what we can say not null constraint. Okay? So, now, now what has happened? Unique and not null both are having its own individual problems are there. So, these two problems I want to overcome, then we are going to apply what now? Generally, we are applying here primary key actually, we are applying primary key. When we apply primary key, what is happen? The problem of unique, the problem of unique plus not null. Okay. So, that is we called it. So, primary key once applied, I can avoid duplicates and I can avoid not null. But how we avoid duplicate not null? already we discussed in the previous sessions. So, that session if you take the primary key session you can understand how we are avoiding duplicates and nulls okay, by using primary key. Okay. So, this is what it is here and later the one more key was there that one more key was now check constraint. The one more key was what now check constraint. So, check constraint basically we are using check constraint basically we are using to check to check value to check value before before inserting into before inserting into a column before inserting into a column. So, whenever I want to insert some values into my column there I want to first before I want to check that value check that value that value is satisfied for the given condition on a column by user, then you can accept. So, it was to check value before inserting to a column. Okay. So, now for how to check means, yes, for checking purpose I need to write, I need to apply, I need to apply, apply a condition, condition on column. Okay. Then that condition will be checking now. So, now I will go for this, I will go for this. What I want to do now? So, the same, I am going to give you some syntax, how to check my value, I will give syntax. The syntax is what now again, column name, okay. then I just send here, send here data type okay. and now I am passing here size okay. and later I am passing here, so what is now check, check of what I want to say condition, check of what now, condition now. So, that is what we are going to apply. Now, I will show you the example. Okay. We will see one example on this. So, let us come to here. I just clear my screen and now the example. What is example here? Same create a table test number 3 of I am taking here suppose uh, what I want to take here for example employee ID in teaser. Here I did not apply anything. Okay. So, I am applying here suppose employee salary, salary was money. Here I am applying one constraint check of what I want to say salary must and should be greater than or equals to some uh, 5000 I was given now. Okay? So, this check constraint I applied on salary column like this you can apply on any number of columns no problem. So, now I am going to execute at this one yes it was successfully done and later I just go for testing my operations now. What is my testing operations before you want to go for that I have to go the test to t I am going to calling now. Okay. So, first I am calling my table actually test number 3 and to execute there is no data. So, now what I am going to do? So, now I am inserting now. So, inset test number 3 okay, I am sending some value C or okay, suppose 1 not 1 and uh, some amount I am sending. Suppose I am sending here uh, 4999 rupees I am sending now. When I am sending this one, what is happened to execute it now? Not accepted. Check constant is violated. So, that means this condition is not. That means here whatever I inserted here 4999, this condition is, this value is not satisfied for the given condition because I want it here only either 5000 or 5000 above I want it, but I am sending here 4999. So, it is not accepted. So, it was giving error, but the same thing if I want to send same thing if I want to send here. Okay. In place of that, if I am sending 5000 rupees, then it is 
accepted. In the same thing, if I want to send one more record, okay, suppose 102, if I send 25,000, okay, even though accepted, yes or no, yes. And now, if I want to call my table, if I want to call my table, then you can see that, okay, what has happened here? So, your check constraint is accepted only 5000 or 5000 above values, but 5000 below values are not accepted. So, this kind of validations you can apply or restrictions you can apply on your table column, okay. So, these are the, the constraints, okay, the today in this session we are discussing unique, not null and check constraints, okay. I hope that you can understand this, okay. And it's nothing is there, it's very easy to understand, okay. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.